Ah, finally, Croatia, the fantastic country filled with phenomenal nature, millions of waterfalls, spectacular islands, but also a place to meet new friends and experience new... <laughs> We're not there yet, but we'll get there, one pedal at a time. So this entire morning I've been climbing and going downhill and climbing and going downhill. But now I'm coming down to Rijeka, which is a coastal town. So finally I will take a dip in the ocean. Hi everybody and welcome. My name is Niklas. I am a seeker, a dreamer, who loves to search for new adventures. Throughout the years, this has been my biggest passion. But now, without any prior experience, I am trying to figure out how to ride a bike down to Spain. For the next 100 days, it will just be the bike, the tent and me. And if everything goes according to plan, my girlfriend and I will spend a couple of weeks in Zimbabwe, working as volunteers at a conservancy. I will try my best at capture as much as I can along the way, for you, and as a time capsule for my future self. Thank you. I think that mountain over there was the one I climbed over yesterday and then I've been riding over those this morning. Imagine playing on these football fields. Hey, calm up! Fuck, I'm tapping geography. This is the Bay of Baca. If it only was a bridge there, it would save me like 20 kilometers. But who complains? It's a sign. In two ways. A double sign. It's really hot. I know you can't feel the heat through the lens, but look at my hands, like I'm sweating. And it's because of these inclines. Like I go over a mountain, then I go down the mountain. But then I need to go up the next mountain and the mountain just keep getting bigger and bigger. This is a privilege. Like if you've been this sweaty, if you are this sweaty, you have deserved it. And not everybody can go to this point. I feel special. There has actually been a few snakes right now on this uphill. But I'm too much of a coward to stop and film them because I think uh, maybe they'll bite me and I don't want that to happen. But instead, you get a magnificent view from here. So, we're on this mountain and I've got 236 meters is the total hike right now. And that's what I've been climbing today, but we're going up to 800. So, yeah, this mountain is probably one of the biggest in Croatia so far. So after a 600 meter climb, I'm on this flat area, just up in the mountains where a lot of horses are, and these green luscious hills. And yeah, life feels pretty awesome. Welcome to camp. There are horse shit everywhere, so you have to go zigzag, slalom, but for those of you who know me, I'm a good slalom rider. This is the view, quite a good one, and here we have some horses, and apparently these horses, they roam free here on these grasslands. It must be such a freedom for a horse to be able to walk around wherever they want, not within a closure with fences, but just can run around and do whatever they like, and have this view. <laughs> Yeah, the horses in Croatia, they live a luxury life, I think. So when I retire, I'm gonna be a horse somewhere in Croatia. So yeah, this is usually how camp looks like. <laughs> Here I'm making movies in my little office. Kills your back, so... <laughs> now you know how much back pain that goes into these movies. And here right now I hope for a pretty sunset. The spot was so perfect, 
it was a warm temperature that I could enjoy the evening by the tent, making progress on a video. But suddenly, without warning, I hear a horse start to neigh and run towards the tent. I got an adrenaline rush and fumbled with my camera to start film, but I got so scared that I turned the recording off almost immediately and tried to get to safety. So yeah, one horse came running straight at me. And he's there behind. My pulse is so high right now. I think you got scared of the computer. So what I didn't see coming was, as I was circling this bush, while at the same time keeping my eyes on the angry horse, is that I would walk straight into another one. Quickly I changed direction again and climbed up a stone wall, where I stayed for about 20 minutes. Okay, I think I'm safe here, but... That... That's close. He came running at me. Oof. Yeah, I'm still so scared. Like the horse, he ran around somewhere that way. I can hear like the bell from one of the female horses over that way. But yeah, it's interesting how I will do tonight. Will it attack me while I sleep? Are horses so dangerous animals? I don't know. I keep the food in those bags and I've closed them. And hopefully, no, they can't feel the smell, right? They eat grass, and this tent looks like a rock. They won't care. Good night. So, good morning and hello there, guys. I didn't get eaten by a horse this night, which is a very positive thing. So, I'm leaving this place. I packed up the tent and the bike is ready, but because I didn't dare to put up the drone <laughs> yesterday when the horses were here. Uh, I'm gonna do it now before I leave because then I have my back here and I can just escape down the mountain. Uh, yeah, I'm still scared of those horses. But yeah, hope you get a picture of how the place looks like. Come to meet me here. <laughs> yeah, that was nice, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sweaty. Oh. Where did you come from, though? Is there someone living here? <laughs> I think he sees coming from up there, and he's trying to. He's trained by the. Owners of the apartment place to bring customers. Yeah. Cute though. Yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> he wants some more pets. Yeah. <laughs> That's just me and my dog. Out for a little straw. <laughs> I slept on that hill over there. So as many of you know, Croatia consists of lots of lots of islands outside the main coast. And apparently it's very popular to bike along these um, islands, mainly for mountain bike, I think. But yeah, I'll see if I have time for that. Probably not, but <laughs> hey, maybe there's a next time. 
So apparently where I am right now is at the border between two climate zones. The Mediterranean climate zone and the continental. That's why you see a lot of pines here mixed with other apparently continental uh, type of plants. So the night before this one I spent in Rijeka and then I traveled to this unpronounceable town Drivenik, Grisane, Bribir and here the climb started up to Bater which is uh, about, about 400 meters above ocean level and then I climb 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 to where I am right now which is 750 and then somewhere here is 800 and then I go down I think to this very unpleasant named village <laughs> This day I had a rest day, but out alone on the Croatian countryside I didn't know what to do of the day. So I took the bike to a local pub and took a beer. And this is where I met Roland. <laughs> I'm Roland. Nice to meet you Roland. Nice to meet Roland you. was also out on a long distance bike adventure. Really good. Great. Nice. nice downhill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were heading the same direction. So let's just say that was the end of that rest day. It turned out that Roland was a bit of a Dutch superman who rode his bike for far longer than me each day. But I would soon realize that it was worth <laughs> to try to keep up with his pace because he turned out to be a very warm and nice person. We had some great talks and it actually felt really good to have a friend by my side again. Right now we're going down this road, as you can see on the other side. And then we're gonna uh, see a big waterfall named Roski Slap. And then we're going back off this road and uh, yeah, go around to another waterfall. So today's many waterfalls and many hills. We're on a long, long downhill now. Me and Roland here. And now we can breathe out.
Ladies and gentlemen, here is Sibenik. It's about 95 kilometers today with 1300 meter climbing. New record. <laughs> and here we got Sibenik. And here's the fighter. Fighter number two. Yeah, we struggled a lot to get here. The bike there has broken, but we're still standing up. Seen like three waterfalls today. Yeah, it feels good to be here. And tomorrow, finally a rest day. <laughs> Hello, after a rest day here in Shibenik, we're now heading towards Split. And yes, you can see the weather has turned. And it was rain and thunder the entire morning, but now it's hopefully gone. And everyone we meet is a bit grumpy today, I don't know why. But not us. Yeah, this is where it comes in handy to be a Swede. I'd had a lifetime of training in bad weather and rain. The thunder, yeah, I know to keep a good mood, even in bad conditions. And Roland's bike is fixed. Okay. We got a new back tire. Both my bike and Roland's bike make some weird noises right now. But split next. Metropolitan town. So, yeah, as yes, you might have seen, I've been riding with Roland here for the last couple of days. Like, right. like three, four days ago we met? Four days ago, yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah in a town called Gospitch. Gospitch, yeah. Somewhere like in the middle of Croatia. Yeah. But could you like introduce yourself quickly? Uh, my name is Roland. I, uh, I'm from the Netherlands, 30 years old. In a, pl in a place called Groningen, it's in the north of the Netherlands. Yeah. Uh, I first started cycling 10 years ago and then I went to the Nootkap. So it was like a four and a half month trip on the bicycle. Yeah, that's the highest point up in Norway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went through Sweden, Finland and then Norway and then all the way back. So it took me four and a half months and uh, since then it's, it's become an addiction. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I want to go again and that's why I'm here. So 10 years later, I'm still in. Yeah, that's so, so cool. That's really cool. And and it's really cool that you have a connection to Sweden as well. Yeah. Do you yeah. understand some Swedish? Some Swedish, yeah. Talk, yeah. it's very impressive. Yeah. I have some friends that are living there, so I've, uh, I, like to, I like to go there. Yeah. yeah. I like the nature and the freedom. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. That's cool. But this time you went south instead. South yeah. Yeah, my, uh, I, I actually wanted to go to South Africa with a friend, but it didn't go through, so um, uh, I had five months, of five weeks of holiday, and then I thought like, okay, what should I do now? And I like cycling, so I was alone again, so I thought like, okay, in this time span, where do, where do I go? So I thought like maybe to Portugal, Italy, and then I thought like, oh, I can maybe make it to Greece, Athens. And I looked on the map and I was like, yeah, this should be a nice route for Croatia, where I am now, along the coast, and uh, see, see a lot of countries as well. And I've never been there in my life, so so it's a new experience for me. So that's that's why I wanted to do this. And uh, yeah, for now it's really, really nice. That's really cool, yeah. So you, you went from Groningen through Germany? Yeah, through, through Germany to Salzburg. It took me like eight days to to, uh, to Germany, so it's a big country. Uh, but I met a lot of nice people on the camping sites, and people are interested in you. Like, what do you do? Where do you go? And sometimes you get a beer, like we we had on the camping site lately. 
and uh, yeah, like the bike thing, don't go. I know this. Uh, no, at least with the with with all the speckers, then it's different than than just one bag or something. So people will notice, and when you when you, when you tell like you go to Greece or something, then people are like, oh, are you crazy or something? <laughs> and some people find it really funny. Yeah. But some people think like, okay, you're a bit crazy maybe, but it's a, it's a good job. Yeah. So yeah, and it's a, it's a nice way to travel, really. I think you you have the same now. Yeah, yeah. You're more experienced than me, and your pace is a lot higher than mine is. But it's been really cool to ride with you. Yeah, Very likewise. Inspired, yeah. Inspirational. You got a lot of uh, <laughs> experience and uh, a good tempo. You're good on the bike. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the hills were a little <laughs> bit difficult with all the luggage, and then you're tired from the, the days before. So sometimes you think like, oh, 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 I don't want to go anymore, but. This is part of the trip, really, and when you when you when you done it, then you're really happy. Yeah. Then you get a nice view. Like we had like three days ago, two, two days ago, we got a view on the sea, and it was really really nice. So yeah, that's that's why you why you do it. So now what's up next? You go. Uh, now we're in Split. So from Split, uh, it's like two two thirds of Croatia, I think, right on the coast. So now I go along the coast to Dubrovnik and then to Montenegro, a small country, to Kotor, it's a, it's a small fjord in the southern uh, of Europe. Yeah, with a great climb, right? Yeah, there's a great climb afterwards, but then you have a nice view on Kotor, on the bay. And then uh, I go to Albania, Tirana, and then from Tirana I go to the east, to uh, northern Macedonia. Many people say Albania, northern Macedonia, is a nice country. It's maybe more poor, but um, people are really nice on the countryside. So, and in cities, you always have to be a little bit careful what you do. The big cities, and uh, and from there on, I go to the east coast of Greece, and then it takes it takes a couple of days, and then I'm then I'm in Athens. So yeah, That's then, really cool. then I covered like 3,400 kilometers, I think. Yeah, and like. 36 days? 32 days? Uh, in total I have 36 days, including uh, rest days and 3 days in Athens. Yeah. But the cycling days are like 30 days. So yeah, I, I, I'm on a bit on the schedule because I have a wedding of a friend of mine. So I, I have to be back on the 18th of June. So it's good to have a schedule, but sometimes it's like, okay, you, you're, no, nah, I'm not in a hurry, but just a little bit. Yeah, it could be like motivational as well. Yeah, like, it's motivation. Yeah, and I, I set a goal like it's, you can you can make it, but sometimes it's harder than the other day. So some sometimes you have a good day and you just fly like we had like uh, three days ago. Yeah. And then uh, some some days where you do like 60 and you're really tired. So it differs really yeah, yeah. from what you eat and what what the what the circumstances are and how many days you have cycled before. Really the first. Yeah, you never know until you do it. That's, no, true. Yeah, but I wish you a big good luck. And Thank you. You too. It's been really, really cool. I too. hope you uh, you enjoy the cycling uh, so far. <laughs> I will, I think. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Robert. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> cool. That went really nice. Yeah. And there goes Roland. What a nice guy. <laughs>